Currently, the statements by Turkey and the Armenian side instill some fear and great concern in us because it seems as though this is not the normalization of relations, but rather the fulfillment of all the demands of Turkey in the name of normalization of relations. These demands are the demands that Turkey has been claiming for 100 years already. It seemed as though the demands were not being presented in the Soviet era, but they were presented again during the years of independence. I believe there are three main demands that have always been presented and spoken out about, and they are the following. First, the demand that the Armenian side renounce all types of claims, meaning the territorial rights of the Republic of Armenia, the property rights of the Armenian people, etc. Second, the demand that the Armenian side renounce the Armenian genocide and not discuss the issue in the international arena. The third demand concerned the issue of Artsakh. Now our authorities have, quote-unquote, solved the issue of Artsakh. And the only thing left to do is to solve the other two issues. If they are going to solve those two issues the same way they solved the issue of Artsakh, this will simply mean acceptance of Turkey's ultimatum. However, in any case, this will not lead to the establishment of peace. Here there is a very important factor that we need to mention. The statements by those who support this way of normalization are approximately based on the idea that Levon Petrosian once expressed. And it is the following. If we Armenians don't have claims on Azerbaijan, that is, if we renounce Artsakh and Artsakh becomes only a domestic issue for Azerbaijan, meaning the only issue will be the security of Armenians in Artsakh, why would Azerbaijan wage a war against us? Nikol Pashinyan implemented this statement, meaning we Armenians surrender Artsakh and Azerbaijan will give peace. But we didn't obtain peace and never will. Now there is the same mindset with regard to Turkey, meaning if we renounce everything, there will be no reason or occasion for war. However, I would like to remind that, for instance, even though Assad and Erdogan and even their families had very close ties and it seemed that everything was great, when the moment came, Turkey took advantage of the opportunity and sent troops to Syria. Consequently, you can normalize relations with Turkey only if you have the appropriate capabilities and power. Armenia can normalize relations if it has a strong ally. This is the reality. Բաժանորդագրվեք ազգային ժողովրդավարական բևերի յութուբյան ալիքին։